Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, what I'll be teaching you guys is what you have been asking for: how to tie a full fan gele using sego. And guys, this is a proper way to keep your sego. You can keep it this way or you fold it properly. It helps remove those lines if you have used it before. So, guys, this is a full sego from my hands to the shoulder. The proper sego is length nine. So guys, the length I'll be using, I'll be using doing a thing, so I'm going to be using a 70 30. So I don't measure our 70 30, you fold 50 50. If you have been following my channel, you can go through it and there are a lot of styles you can learn from. If you have been following, we fold 50 50, you leave the one inside, then you fold again. Folding again, making it 25 25, and I said we're looking for 30 70. So I'll be adding 5 to this on our hands, like this is 5. So all I do is 5. Okay. So I'll take my pins from here. I'm going to take my pins. Make at least 5 or so. Hello there, please let me hold it. Now wait. I'll arrange here properly. Please, whenever you are tying sego, your grip matters a lot. The way you grip it matters a lot, you get. So the way you grip matters a lot. I see how it's coming. Then you place one ear close, one ear open. If you are tying a V, so you remove your hands from here because if you see it's not well arranged. So you take your hands off it, then you arrange properly. Guys, so a lot of you have been asking how to tie this. So, so okay, let me do a tutorial of it today. How you can achieve a full fan. Sego Gilly. So give her this to hold you come to the back. Come to the back. Thank you. You open it this way. Now the short one up. Short one up. Yeah? Short up. Short one up. So guys, if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. Or if you're watching through Facebook, you're welcome. All you need to do. There are a lot of styles you can learn from. A lot of styles. So you see, she's holding it. And bring this one back. Now she's holding it. What you do? You drag it here. You drag it here. Then you tell her to hold. Now watch. She's going to hold it with this hands. Hold this one with this hands. Then hold this. So that it doesn't move. Then you come this way. No, hold this one with this hand. Okay, she's holding. You can see the way she's holding it. Uh, guys, normally I've told you before if you're making a V, you calculate one, two, three, four, five, six. So this six meaning we are doing six also from this side. So doing six also from this side. Now you can see it's at the middle. Just realize it also this one. You can see it's at the middle. So when you do it, you watch it, okay. Oops. Gonna come from our ears, okay. So you draw the front. Now you can see the sound this the circle is making right. So different circle, there are some circle that are soft, there are some circle that are hard, right? There are some circle that will keep bouncing this way. You can see the way this one now is bouncing. So what I'll do, I'll check here, is it properly? Mm -hmm. So, when I see it's properly, if you drag it, start dragging, I use the last one to pin. I use the last one to pin that. The last one to pin. Now when you notice anything movement or so, 
always try to engage the person you are time with. Or if you have an assistant, you work with the assistant. You understand? When you notice any place is moving, but when you if you can pin successfully and it does not move, it's not gonna move later, you understand? But if it's moving and you didn't notice, if you move backward most time, adjusting it properly is gonna give you issue. You get so she will just hold two years on it. Okay. No, I just hold the two years so I can see this. Now guys, we're going to be tying our fans, so we're going to make a lot of pleats. We're not going to be counting normally. I'm just okay. Let me just make take one pleat. Take one pleat. Yeah, raise it up, guys. So what I'll do, I'll keep taking my pleats. Keep taking my pleats. You spread it. Take my pleats. You spread it. Now guys, what I always tell you, if you have watched my fan video using Sego, you notice I said um, fan, if time fan is like an angle, we should go like this, small, big, you understand? Small, big, it will form a triangle. So what we're going to do is small, big. So the hand inside here, we we'll kick it like this. So you see, small, big. Now let's tell you, always arrange always you get always arrange so you go again you go again small big hmm? small big so you always hold it firm if you say go now i told you if it's too small use one to cover it but for now you can still be maintaining it look at can still get it. Mm -hmm. So we'll go again. Go we'll no, just check. We'll go again. Small, big. Small. Now, what I would do here now, what I'll do here now, in order, because of it's slippery, all I'll just do, I'll try my best to arrange everything down. You understand? I'll try my best to arrange everything down. Get to our try my best to arrange everything down. Then I'll take her to hold it very tight. So she's holding it right now, guys. She's holding it. So she will have to look up. Then you come to the back and pin. The reason I'm pinning segue is because it's slippery and you can't hold it to control it that much. But if it's not a slippery segue, you can keep breaking when you get to this other side. Here. So normally, how we normally pin? You take two and you drag. Good. Take this one and drag. So that you pin. This guy, let's check your pin if it's so. Bring it out. That one is not well secured. So, what we'll do again, we'll go in again with this. So, this one is bent. Take it out. So, guys, we we'll go in with this. Now, you see? So, one of the challenge of Sego is the pinning. But with time you get it. You understand? So with time you start getting it. Okay, there's normally if you have been following if you have been following me, there's what I normally do, which I like doesn't start moving. Okay, so I pin two replaces, which is here. Careful so that you don't pin and then you need to. Oh yeah. Now we have gotten this fan. We're gonna continue. Small big. Make sure they are on top of each other. Now we'll go again small big. Hmm? We'll go again. Look at it. Small. If you notice it's small here, there is big here. So we'll go again. 
small b you can see we're going although my is like a book more of my fan I, I did more of pleats that's why my fan is small so if you want yours to be high you start breaking your fan early now when you get to this place it's always a challenge when you get to this place it's always a challenge but well, let me just break my few effects it's always a challenge the challenge is how do you start going down how do you start breaking your fan down and please whenever you're breaking your fan whenever you're breaking your fan if you are lazy with packing everything also even with your ashok if you are lazy with packing everything you can just pick few and go pin understand now how do we do it if we start taking it small or big down it goes like this so you see so it goes like this i want to make it start coming down Make sure start breaking. Make sure everything is on top of each other. There's always struggle in Sego, but when you are done, it always comes out nice. Understand? It always comes out nice. Just wanted to continue. If not, if you want to get it very high, make sure you start your pleats on time. You get you start your pleats on time. Always break till you know your fan is finished. Okay, now that I've gotten to the back. I use the one here. Hold it, please. Always hold. Then you twist. Gently. Once you twist now, please come this way. Please come this way. Once you twist now, what you do? You pin. Please, if you have been following my tutorial, this shouldn't be new to you. I get. This shouldn't be new to you. You should know in all my tutorial, all I do is pin. You get. I pin, I pin, I pin. So I know pinning is not easy, but the more you do it, the more it gets used to it. Get the truth is most times I do find challenges, especially when it comes to sego. I do find challenges. Now when you are done, you can see this side is white. Yeah. All you need to do is check it. See, look at this place controls here. So all you need to do, drag it a little bit inside. But if it's not dragging properly, come to the front. Let's see how we are, how we make it. If it's not dragging properly, use your hands. Watch. Please go to the front. Let me show you. you use your hands to adjust it properly. Use your hands after using your hands to adjust it properly. Please come, come to the front. Sorry. Try using your hands, then the pin. Just look for some way and pin it. Get. Like I always say, the way you wrap your back is up to you. Understand? The way you wrap the back of your gear is up to you. Just be creative with it and try to make it look nice today. Try to make it look nice. So, guys, please, please, and please share, share, and keep sharing. Keep sharing so that other people can see. Eh? You do make this good. Keep sharing and always comment so that it will encourage people to check it out. You understand? Eh, so that new people, people that are new to the giddy way, can also check it out. You understand? So now you can see. Sego always comes out well. Should be told, this one now suits any bride. Yes, this will suit any bride. This will suit any bride. Get 
So you can watch the Ashoke own, then watch this Sego own. You can just pick from here, pick from here, and you start slaying. I want to see you guys practice. Understand? See you guys practice, practice, practice.